Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Well, I got an exciting video today. Uh, just kind of some examples of what's going to be coming out of here now, along with all, everything you guys have seen in the past. Um, these three knives here that I'm going to show that are pimped are for sale. They are from uh, Farm Doc here on YouTube and also. Uh, uh, what the hell is it? You know, I draw a blank. Is it Jay? Damn it. His, I'll put a link to his website, too, where you can buy knives from. But uh, you guys all know Farm Doc. Great guy. Really good dude. Really nice guy. Definitely uh, has great prices. But uh, these are special. Uh, you can see the prices are actually on them. Uh, but, you know, they're going to be a little bit more with the pimp job and everything. So I'm kind of doing this exclusively for him. So, um... Yeah, so I got these three, and then I got a hinderer I customized, which I will show first. Uh, I was pretty excited about this one because I was given the go-ahead to just do whatever I wanted on it. Uh, so this one came with a titanium scale, uh, which I did not change because I do like the color. Uh, but it's also going to get a marble carbon fiber scale as well. Uh, this is like a reddish bronze, and I, I just thought it looked real good. And uh, for the first time, and some of you guys may cringe at this, uh, I think it looks great. Uh, acid wash, Hinder XM18, slicer grind. I think it looks really nice. Just really, really nice on there. Why won't you focus, camera? There we go. And the other side. We got the bronze standoff. Tried something new. Just kind of a, uh, I don't know what to call it. Like a uh, flame anodized, just random crazy. I think it looks really crazy. I love it. It just looks really cool. It's kind of like dots in there and like just really cool overall look to it. And uh, the liner's also been anodized. Can't really see it too much. I also messed around with my own a little bit, just uh, just to check it out. Did uh, the blue clip and the blue uh, spacer there and the uh, blue blue liner. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Just want to see what that would look like. Kind of cool little piece, little accents there. So this one is really centered, nice and smooth. Very smooth. It almost feels like it got smoother because of the uh, acid wash. Sometimes it does that. I don't know. I don't know if that's just just in my head, but you know, it just it looks cool as hell. Like those guys, I love it. Caught flame askus. All right, guys. So on to. What we got here from Farm Doc. So we got two militaries of titanium, which I'll save for last. And uh, one splitter coat tough. The other two were sold. So see it goes for 240 on site. I'm not sure if that's a current price, but it's gonna be a little bit more with the pimp job. So I'm calling this one the black diamond tough. So you got the black diamond pattern done on the grinder. And of course acid wash blade with looks freaking awesome on 3 V. Uh, sandblasted G10, just super clean. Yeah, as smooth as a uh, a tough can get. I love the knife personally. I have not put the edge on this one yet. And this side also has the crazy anodizing. It's a little moist. Kind of looks like galaxies or something. Lock up's perfect. Uh, anodize the liner there. Nice and bronze. Goldish color. Uh, it feels so much better with this slightly bigger scale. Just slightly thicker. Not too much thicker, but it's just slight. Pattern is just so clean. Got my small arm attachment, and uh, you'll see what I did with that. First thing I always wanted to do. Uh, and I'm glad Farm Doc sent me these and I'm glad I waited to do them until I got it. 
Uh, I think he was kind of like wondering why I was waiting so long, but uh, you'll see in a second. Sick. Love it. So that one's for sale. You got to ask Farmdoc how much. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel so you can either PM him or check out his website and give him a call. I think, I'm not sure if he lists his number on there, but uh, don't quote me on that. So first up, I don't even know which one I like more. We'll show this one first. Titanium military. Reptilian pattern. That's right. Always wanted to do it. Always wanted to do it. Uh, clip matches the other side. Uh, just left this plane uh, nice and centered perfectly. Uh, anodized the standoff tube there. But uh, it's got the frostbite, frosty reptilian. And acid wash the blade. It looks looks awesome on this knife. And uh, yeah, I was real excited to finally get to do patterns on titanium, guys. I mean, that's what I've always wanted to do. It's just that I wasn't, you know, I'd done it a few times with a Dremel, but it looks like shit and takes forever and costs money because you have to go through bits like crazy. But you can see there, just titanium. Freaking, you know, it's not the reptilian pattern. Um, I'll probably charge extra to do this on the grinder uh, because it is very difficult. Uh, it was not easy. Uh, it looks good, but uh, I could probably do better next time. Uh, but it looks almost perfect for, you know, I, I, I'm happy with it up to the point where I didn't feel like, oh, I want to do it over or something. No, it's perfectly fine. And the frostbite looks great with the reptilian. Just awesome, guys. So he's selling these for $215, uh, according to the box. And uh, this is so smooth. Great knife, guys. And, uh, you know, contact Farm Doc if you want it. So, it's a little lighter, just a little bit, but not really. Now, next up, guys, this one is crazy. So, another titanium military. Take this guy out. And Probably gonna do, I forgot to do the clip on this thing. Uh, on the clip, I'm probably gonna, you know, make it match the front scale and the back spacer, but, you know, for, I for, totally forgot about it. I think I was just, like, mesmerized by it. So this one, Titanium Military, you got your, your blade untouched. Nice satin blade. And the Anzo pattern. High polish Anzo Titanium. In Sanity. It looks freaking insane like I was you know I'm, I've done the Anzo pattern so many times that this was just like second nature to me and I was looking at it, I was like you know I was really gonna sandblast it then I was like well I'm, just, I'm good at doing this you know so I keep it steady so it's perfect I'm gonna see how high I can polish it this thing looked like a mirror when I uh, first did it um, it looks insane and then the uh, you know the pattern in there with the, with the new machine I use for this Looks insane. Some nice blue, some hints of purple in there. It's just really, really just polished up and nice. It's really elegant looking. Backspacer. Matches. This is just crazy looking, guys. So this one's probably gonna be more than the other one because this one has the backspacer with it, which is titanium as well. Uh, I'm gonna make this blue here to match. Uh, both of them are just ridiculously smooth, just perfect. Everything you'd want from a Spyderco military. Pattern this looks incredible.
So it provides a little bit more grip, I guess, but you know, it's more of a showpiece. I mean, it's not, it's still definitely fully usable. Just looks freaking awesome. And this is just gonna look better and better when you wear off the tips here. You know, the anodizing will wear off a little bit after time. It might look crazy, look at that. That just looks, I almost wanted to keep it satin. But uh, because just like the mirror effect, it gave these like warped crazy mirror effect going on. It's nuts, guys. I'm really happy with this grinder. This is what I always wanted to do. And uh, now I can do it. I just, I'm just so happy. So shaping titanium, putting patterns in it. Yeah, screw the damn fluted military. You guys can wait a year for that. Go for this. It's cooler. Better. But the titanium is the original scale. Uh, modified, in case you were wondering. So, yep. You'll have to talk to Farm Doc. I'm gonna probably give him a call and tell him he's done. Uh, I'll probably call him before the video's up. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about the new anodizing, the new torch treatment here. I think it looks awesome on this thing. This thing's just the craziest looking hinder I've ever seen. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna eat my tuna sandwich and uh, give you a preview of my new toy here. Yeah. AK's gone. It was replaced. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night, day, peace.